You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Something that's happened to you. You're sweating. It, it, it was a dream. <clears throat> what dream? I, 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 I saw a faceless man chasing me with a cutlass. Chica, it was a mad dream. You don't need to stress yourself about it. You need to go tidy up and you know tomorrow is work. Okay? So you need to go fresh up and get ready for tomorrow work. brought the girl in what too? She I did, doctor. My name is Monica. She is my daughter. Doctor, please save her for me. Madam, calm down, okay? By God's grace, everything will be fine. But first, I would love to know her medical history to enable me. And doctor, we have a medical file here with us. How do you mean? She was discharged here last week after undergoing a successful surgery. In that case, let me have the file immediately. Okay. Please, doctor, save her for me. Madame, excuse me, I'll Please, doctor, save her for me. Chica! 
Victor, how can you do such a deadly mistake? Mike, I regret that I made so You regret it and you take full responsibility for it. Chica, how could you? What were you thinking for you to do such a horrible mistake? How could you forget the surgery blade in someone's belly? In as much as this place is a village hospital, do you know what it means if this thing goes public? Please, I beg you. Don't beg me. Don't beg God that this girl survived the second surgery. Because if she doesn't, <laughs> she can. Also pray that the hospital management don't get to hear this. You better pray. I got a petition from a staff in the surgery department, which you heard. Can you deny or confirm the fact of what he said happened? I asked you a question, Dr. Mike. It happened, sir. It happened. Are you mad? How come you omitted it? in your weekly departmental report to this office last week. No, sir. It was um, Dr. Chika's first time of performing surgery. Though the mistake was gravy and um, involved woman life. What is the process one must undergo? Dr. Mike, this is a hospital my father built in this village to cater for the villagers. And he left it on my care after many years of toil which I made what it is today. And it is not a learning process ground. Once out of school, learning process stops for a medical doctor and the rating starts. The reason for us, Mike, is to save human life and not to create room for these silly mistakes. No, sir, your words are correct. But in this particular case, no life, no life was lost. Yes, but one was endangered. And this called for a serious question over Dr. Chica's competence. You recommended her here for employment. And I don't really know what both of you have together. And it is unacceptable. So please, I take um, exception to what you just said. Dr. Chica is my colleague and not in house. Then treat this case as you told me that. This is not a court of law or a panel of inquiry, Dr. Chica. You can keep whatever excuse you have for this outrageous error for yourself. If you may know, I invited you here to inform you that, that I will report this incident to my father and then the regulatory authority for further action. I'm true, both of you. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is tearing apart. God, where Chica. are you? What right. kind of life is this? Chica. For God's sake, Chica, it's been three hours we left Dr. Tony's office. And you're still here crying. Haven't you cried enough? Who could have done this to me? It's, it's not like I ever tried to defend what I did. Why would someone want to destroy my career by reporting what happened to Dr. Tony? Why, why, why couldn't the person just understand like you did? 
chick I wanted to know is that everybody would not be me. Alright? I'm here to tell you that still. Please, Mike, don't patronize me. It's crystal clear. I am ruined. You are not. Dr. Tony's father and my father are best friends. And schoolmates. So I can plead with my father to intervene on your behalf. He is an um, ardent moralist and superior. I think he will. And if he does, um, you will retain your job here. You will not be undergoing any questioning from the regulatory authorities. Please, Mike. You don't know what this job and career as a doctor means to my family and I. You don't know how long we have prayed for this breakthrough to come. And, and when we thought everything was... She admits that the mistake was quite grave. Every doctor is guilty of one mistake or the other, especially at the beginning of one's career. I can still recall a few mistakes I did myself. I am begging you to talk to your friend, Dr. Tony, to tap on justice with mercy, not to allow this thing go public or go out of our, our hospital. Mike, Daddy. I am the traditional ruler of this kingdom. How do you ask me to get involved in such scandalous issue like this? Um, Daddy, I understand where you're coming from. But we can't stand and watch this young doctor being wronged. If I understand you clearly, son, she ruined her career herself by her own incompetence. What Tony and his father want to do is not embody the right thing. Now tell me, if I do what you want me to do, and the facts later goes public, do you know the implications? 
Yeah, Daddy, I, I, I know. All I am asking you is to help. Well, I'm sorry, son. This throne and good exemplary leadership is more important to me, much more than the career of a, a careless young doctor. Daddy, you remember this girl has been my friend right from school days. Oh, spare me that. You don't deserve such a friend, son. Stay clear from her before she ruins you too. Where are you coming from looking so scared? From the house. From the house. From the house. Is Papa in trouble? No, bro, your Papa. It's your twin sister. I don't understand what is going on. Nemo, how much since she came back from work? I got her on me. She just refused to say anything to us. Eh? Mama, Chica in trouble. Hey! We don't have time. Let's be going before she will harm herself. It's okay, Mama. Goes. As we are going, I will be extending it to you. It can be a pocket. Debe, 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 debe. Chisa, chisa. Let us go. Let us go. Can be a gender news of it. Mama, I want to talk to her alone. But. Mama, if she refused to talk to you and Papa, it means she doesn't want to share whatever that is bothering her with the both of you. She is my twin sister. Don't worry, she will talk to me. Okay. Mama, go. Chica, talk to me. I'm your twin sister. I've come to listen to you. I've come to share your emotional burdens, just the way we've been doing it all our life. Chine, my world is about to collapse in this village. I have destroyed something that has taken this family a lot to build my own careless hands. Chinaya, the pride of this family is about to become the shame of this family. How? You remember that surgery incident I talked to you about last week? Someone petitioned the hospital management about it. And now they are not only threatening to sack me, they also want to report me to the regulatory authorities for sanction. Jesus Christ. Who could have, who could have blown the whistle on you like that? I don't know. Chinaya, my only concern now is how Mama is going to take this. Being hypertensive. Chinaya, this could kill her. How I endangered the life of the woman who has been through so much for me. Mama is not going to die. Nobody is going to die. Your career is not going to be ruined in Jesus' name. You don't get it. You don't get it. I do. See, just that the mistake has already been made. There's nothing you can do right now. The best thing is to talk to Papa about it. Let's discuss damage control measures to be taken. Chineye, no. Papa, See, no, Chica, no. My husband traveled to the city and went. We need a man to help prevent this from becoming a scandal. In that regard, that is the only man around. Don't worry, he will listen to us. Oh, where are you? you? What kind of life Let's go. is this? Trust me. My world is tearing apart. God. When did this uh, really happen, Tony? You see that it was last week and I got the petition from a nurse that works in the surgical department. And you said uh, the chica girl was employed uh, on a real recommendation from my uh, from Dr. Mike Naman. Yes, Dad. Are you sure the patient and the family are 
not aware of the real reason for the second uh, surgery. Uh, they've not raised any doubts. It's a clear indication that uh, they're not aware of it. Tony, I know what I suffered to establish uh, that hospital. And carelessness like this is capable of destroying everything. And I will not allow it to happen. I'm sure you've, you've not come to plead for your daughter. Sir, that's why I'm here. That's, that's why I'm here, sir. Then you have no respect for life. I, as a doctor, I hate people like you and your daughter. Doctor, please. Don't look at it that way, please. I am telling you, my daughter is sincerely sorry over that, over that mess, eh? over that mistake. Please, give her a second chance. To do more killings? I don't discuss incompetence. Doctor, I, 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 I'm here. I came all the way. Please, I, I'm here to apologize. Please, I, I'm here to... Look, the gate will be open for you. When you are done for standing. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is tearing apart. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is turning He and his son treated me like an idiot. An idiot to date to stand in their presence and utter a blood. Father, I don't blame them. I blame myself for everything. Chica, it's okay. Father, sorry for the embarrassment. Please save me because of my mother. Amen. May this whole situation not endanger her health. Please. You said that a colleague of yours promised to tell the father to intervene on your behalf. Yes, father. But with what you just said about Dr. Keke's reaction, are you sure there's any hope for us in that regard? Who is the boy's father? His Majesty, Igwe Namani, the traditional ruler of this town. Ah, His Majesty himself. Yes, Father. In that case, there's the hope. Once again, my son, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Your twin sister. Yes, we are not identical. Father, Chinaye, this is my colleague, Dr. Mike, the Mike. only son of Igwe Namani. Oh. My son, once again, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Have your father spoken to Dr. Keke? No, sir. Oh, okay, I, I understand. You know, he, he's a very busy man, maybe because of his tight schedule. So when is he planning to speak with him? 
Um, my father said the issue is so scandalous for him to get involved as the traditional rule of this community. Chica, Chica, my father turned on my offer. I wish my mother is around. Everything would have been easy. Talk about it. Look, son, His Royal Majesty has an interest. And that interest is embodied on a quality leadership, at least for now. Oh, are you telling me that you don't care what this issue does to that interest so long as I stick my neck to save Chica? Dad, your leadership is indeed this family had no interest. Chica's family has its own. Despite the differences in every family. Dad, we still have what we call universal human family, a notion which we should live for one another. And Chica's family is one of the family you rule in this kingdom. So tell me that. To which extent have you lived up to that standard? The notion of universal human family in this case. See that. What could be more governance than to help the people you rule to overcome their predicaments? No, my son. Leadership is all about service to people. Dad, and Chica's family is included in this family. All I ask is to protect their interests and nothing else. Don't allow their name to be dragged to the mold. They are your subjects. Dad, I know you as a noble man. And this is a noble issue I know you can handle with ease. My son, you are a very intelligent young man, there's no doubt about it. But you still need to mature in a whole lot of areas of life. Life is not straight. Whenever there is issue or situation like this. You have to look at that situation from all angles. Think about it, son. Son.
to Chineye's house. Chineye's house? With tears running down your face? Chika, tell me. What is the matter? I'm your mother, you can talk to me. Mama, it's not an important issue. It's not an important issue. Did you just say it's not an important issue? <laughs> what do you people take me for? Look! You say it's not an important issue. Your sister left here earlier today, looking downcast and sad. Your father is out there brooding. And you're here with tears running down your face and you tell me it's not an important issue. Something obviously is going on and you people take me for a fool. Okay, I'm hypertensive. That's why you don't want to tell me what's going on. But for your information, my dear girl, it's not whatever is bothering you that would kill me, but the silence. Yes, that is what would kill me. Well, if you say you're going to your sister's house, go right ahead and go to your sister's house. But by the time you come back tomorrow, be ready to bury me. Yes, now. Okay. I lost a very special patient in the hospital today. Chica, you're still lying to me. Mama, I'm not lying to you. The boy was the only son of a widower. I did all I could. Mama, he tied in my arms. And the father is... What did his father do? Wait, 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 wait. I hope he was not accusing you of causing the child's death. He committed suicide right before me. Chimo! Hey! Holy Moses! He did kill me! And you've been going through this trauma alone. Chica, come, come to mommy. Come to your mother. I can never go away. Hi, right before you. Oh, Mama. Hi, Chimo. I can never, never be gone. Hi, Chimo. I can just imagine what you're going through. It's okay. It's okay. It's not in my office, please. The door is open, Dr. Chica. What are you doing? Have you seen Dr. Tony? What did he say? He gave me this letter. He said it was from his dad. Have you been able to open it? I, I couldn't muster the courage to do so. Let me see. Oh my God. Hmm. The heart is in the mind. Mike. I am not. This is a reprimand letter from the director of medical. See for yourself. 
I told you everything is possible. My world is turning around. Oh! <laughs> true love, true love, true love never lies. True love, true love. Thank you, my Why are you stopping? So there's something I want us to discuss about. My love, we have all the time in this world to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. I need to get to the house, tell my parents about this good news, that my job is still intact. Why you don't we leave it for later, please? You need to go and tell your parents that your job is safe after all. Yes. In like my love. I can't wait to do this. Do what? So hasty and irrational. I don't see 
see any significant improvement at all. So the gambler, okay? It's very normal for her to make fulfillment. It takes time to, to heal. Definitely she's gonna come around, okay? Thank you. I received a call from Professor Odi, the professor of our West African College of Surgery. to take care of your mother while you could be fine. No, I want to be with her. Why? I would love to stay with her myself. Are we the only doctors in this hospital? Mike, this is my biological mother we are talking about here. I know. Oh, you Daddy. Uh, uh, just, just leave him alone. He's dead drunk. Drunk? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. He gives in to excessive alcoholic consumption whenever he's under pressure. I suspected this was going to happen back in your house. He loves my mom very deeply. So what are you going to do now? 
I'm just going to sit here and read as much as I can. Why? There are nurses in this hospital. So why are you staying here for? Did you see any of them when we got in here? My dear, this is a heart attack patient. And my mother also. She needs someone with good presence of mind besides her always. Not a drunk father and absentee nurses. Oh, it's all right. I'll, I'll always pray for you. All right? Thank you very much. I love you. I love you too, baby. Don't keep this aside. Okay? Mama, for you, is your foundation. And so what? Eh? Look, in a few weeks, you'll be due for our baby. I don't want you to go through this stress. But honey, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining! See, see baby, it's, it's not as if I'm shouting at you, okay? It's just that this is my baby. I don't want any harm to come to, to him. Hmm? No, you're just returning. Let's go. Oh, come, let's go. My phone. It's Chica. Hello, Chica. Ch when? Chica, my husband just returned. Okay, we're on our way. We are coming. Thank you, Jesus. What? She said my mother is out of coma. Oh. Honey, let's go! Jesus, go! <laughs> that means he's going to be a footballer, where? I pray. Yeah? Good. I can't go. No way, Mama. Gee, baby. Mama. Can you? What the man? By the way, what about that young man that saved your career? And how is he and his father doing? Oh. Mama, he's very fine. He's in the hospital. He works here. He does? Yes. Really? Oh, nanny. Mm. So that means you've seen the young man? Yes, he's your daughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> daughter of Ken? How is the double or the woman? He is the right man for our chick. Chee chee, Gialo. Thank you so much. I must thank you personally for your kindness and your goodness to the family. You're welcome. Um, sweetheart, this is Chuk's Chinese husband. Are you serious? Peace meeting you. Yeah. It's your pleasure meeting me. <laughs> it's your pleasure too. Thank you. pleasure. I mean, Chano. One more cock as you have pleasure. I would not know. I don't want to care. Hey. I'm for one. I can't wait to see you. Mama! Me too, my very sweet. Ducky, ducky. Me, what are you ducky? I'm not going to laugh in the house. I don't have a ducky in my house. No, no. Don't delay you.
What is it again? We are not prepared for the sex. I mean, see all I have to read. I don't even know where to start from. Moreover, we haven't even discussed about where we're going to stay when we get to the city. I have a friend in the city. No, can stay in his house. Why don't you skip this year's exam and write next day? What? I can't do that. After paying so much money. No, I can't skip this year's exam. I'll write it. Are you writing because you need it? Or are you writing for experience? I have never failed any exam before. Just see somebody failing tomorrow. What for pivots? How can you say that? I won't fail this exam. I will write this exam and I will pass it. Tell me how if you don't read. And give it to me. Give it to me. What's the paper for? I'm sorry, it's nothing. Nothing. Cheating in the professional medical examination, and you say it's nothing. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry, the paper is mine. Yours? Um, she actually caught me cheating in her some house, so um, that was what we were dragging before you came in. Sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up. Um, sir. Um, she's my colleague in the Ovix. Um, also a very good Christian. So she felt it's wrong and it's sin to cheat. Um, that was what she did, what she did. I'm sorry. That is. Come with me. Come with me. Love. 
You are supposed to be writing your, your papers inside the examination hall. What are you doing out here now? I know, sir. I, I just want to have a few words with Dr. Mike. Please, sir. Wait, this is this amount of wasting your precious time, my dear. He already admitted to the offense. Uh, the policy here is that we invite the police and um, arrest him for, for investigations and um, sanctions. Uh, that's the policy here, my dear. If you insist. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Mike, how could you? Just go inside and write your exam. That's what you ought to be doing now. I want to ask you, what in God's name do you think you are doing? Check I am protecting you. Mike, this is crazy. Do you know the police are on their way to pick you up? I know. Mike, this can ruin your career. Your father, for goodness sake. Why are you trying to ruin everything? Because I'm like a child. Chica, you know what? I am under no illusion for whatever I am doing. I love you. You are going to be the mother of my born children. And in that part, that gives me the right to protect you. To protect me from what? My silly frivolities all from external threats? What are you protecting me from? Chica, um, Chica, I also don't want you to be rude. You know your mother's condition. If she gets to hear this, she's definitely going to die of a heart attack. And I know you. You can't even stand it. You're going to take your life. Chica, just go inside and write your exam, please. Going back I have nothing to put down on that paper. My brain is empty. I don't even know when. I have failed already, Mike. And you're trying to worsen everything by ruining your own life? Why? Hey, Chica. Well, you know what, Mike? I am going nowhere. I will be here until the police get here and I will tell them the truth. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Well, I am an adult. My crimes, my mistakes, and my... Yes, that's the young man there. Young man. That's the policy here. Policy. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? Chica, just go back. Go back to the room. He didn't do anything. I have destroyed him. Mama, I have ruined a man's life that loves me so much. How am I going to live with this? Oh. Jacob, Jacob, it's okay. Oh, it's okay, there's not. I want you to know there's always a way out in things like this. Eh? Nani, is your keep? Jacob, His Royal Majesty, Igwe Namani. He has enough clout to ensure that his son goes unstained. Mama, when he was insisting on helping me with the surgery saga, he said his father asked him to stay clear of me. Mama, he would have listened to his father. If I had known, I would have listened to him when he said I should forget about this year's exam. Mama, if I... Okay. I love him so much. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he loves you too. Walk your for Lena. Don't cry. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. If for Lena can't cast everything. Did anybody force you to go for that examination? Or, I mean, were you ignorant of the consequences of what you did? Or did you do it to disgrace me? That I did not do it. In your statement at the police station, you admitted it. Or were you under duress when you made that statement? No. What are you talking about? That you will not understand. How dare you? Oh. It's Chick again, right? Yeah, please, let's check out, please. 
Now let me tell you something. If this ever goes public, not only you will be ruined, but the resultant scandal will also harm me. In case you don't know, for me to self check at the last time, I had to promise Dr. KK that I will help his own way into becoming the Commissioner of Health in this state, which is in the bridge that bars traditional ruler from politics. My friends, that singular action could bring negative impressions about me, and my enemies are waiting to see that. Tom, Dad, I must thank you for closing that case and also for getting me out of that police cell and also not allowing it to go public I know what they could have done to me they could have destroyed me I am grateful I will not blame you at times I wonder if you are my true son I'm get out of But I pray the five million he spent to this case will be enough to seal the lips of the people involved. Five million what? I cost a man that just saved me from disgrace recently. Such a huge amount of loss. Papa! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That is okay. Oh. You know, being a very good girl with a soft conscience, it is an emotional body. For her. That I will talk to her. Mike. Daddy. Thank you very much. That long one, bro. It's alright. It's alright. Five million. Five million. Five million. Honey, I was looking for you. It's Has this affected your relationship with your father? He couldn't have forgiven me. He was disappointed. I, I want to see him. For what? At least, now that everything is over, he deserves to know the truth. My father will hate you for life if he gets to know the truth. That will be the end of our proposed marriage. Um, have you tried asking for forgiveness since you came back? He wouldn't listen to me. Then I must see him. At least let me plead with him on your behalf. Please. I don't think. Honey, I would accept the consequences of any other thing that has happened. Not the relationship with your father. Please, let me see him. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Um, sorry, my father. Um, your majesty, your majesty. What, the... what are you doing here? And what is it? Majesty. Dad, she got nothing to do with this. What are you behaving? Why are you behaving this way? This is the girl that is going to be the mother of my unborn children.
Oh, um, no, absolutely no. Uh, with what just happened, I, I think the whole thing is affecting him. My dad is not like that. That is the thing that I caused. Sorry, um, sorry, please don't go there. Do you understand? I think he's, he's annoyed with something. He's not in his right frame of, uh, frame of mind. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I never back in for this. I'm sorry, maybe I'll see you. Okay. I'm sorry. Honey, I've been thinking. You wanted to say something? What is it you're thinking about? It's exactly two weeks after the exam scandal and nothing has out of it in the public, as you feared. I was going to ask, is it not the proper time for us to start the next stage? What next stage? I propose marriage. Your mother is well again. And peace is gradually returning between me and my father. What do you think? Whatever you want, my love, is fine by me. <laughs> That's my girl. I love you. I love you too. Um, have you told your father about this? Oh, here's the one calling me. Hello, Dad. No. No. Yeah, we're together. said something about me. You said you want to see both of us immediately. Mike, I'm very scared of your father now. Is anything the matter? I'm sorry, I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Come here. in our lives. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. You see, I invited both of you here so that I can apologize for what happened the last time you were here. It was very uncalled for. Honestly, Your Majesty, I am humbled by your humility. However, I took no offense to whatever happened that day. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You see, um, my daughter, I want to visit your parents tomorrow so that we can start off the official marital right. <laughs> Absolutely, Your Majesty. Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> thank you very much. My son, Daddy, I would say um, you spoke my mind, you know, like I've been nursing it for a very long time. You can always count on you, you know. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, Monsignor. So, um, my wife-to-be, when you get home, inform your parents. Tell them I will be at your, at your house tomorrow. No problem, Your Majesty. Thank you. Oh! 
don't, you don't look good at all. What is it? A letter. What is it for? A disaster is about to happen again. It is a summon from the regulatory authorities inviting me to come and face a disciplinary panel over the last episode exam last month. What? My love, how did they get to know? I don't know. I don't really know. I made a few calls concerning the letter. And they told me Prof. Uday has been suspended for entering a deal with my father to cover the incident. Even the police people they bribe is being probed. you coming out of this victorious? That is not my problem now. My main problem is my father, as the Igwe. How he's going to react to the news? Honey, it's a matter of time before the price and my father may be doomed. What? this affect you people's coming to pay my bride price in a few weeks' time? <clears throat> Honey, honestly, if this thing goes public, nothing will remain the same again in my family. Jesus. It is a disaster. A very big one. Mike! Mike! What kind of problem is this? What, what kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? My world is tearing apart. My world is so near You're here. Yes, Dad. Our kinsmen left here a few minutes ago and we discussed at length. About what? Are you asking? About accompanying us to Chica's house, family house, for payment of her bride price. Or have you forgotten? Um, yeah, no. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, Dad, I should be in my room now. Uh, Son, come. You look depressed. Is there anything the matter? Is this something I should know? Not really. Nothing. I'm fine. Son, I am talking about your uh, proposed marriage here. I mean, is there any problem? Daddy, Daddy, like I said, I am fine. There's no problem. It's just that I had a very hectic day at work today. That's it. That's it, just it. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you very much. And let's talk later. All right, baby. Father hears of this. Go 
forbid. God forbid. Call him immediately and tell him not to give the letter to the father yet. Besides, there's no way he can be removed from the throne of his forefathers till death. Okay? Father, I pray so. I pray so. Father, I pray so. I pray so. Because it will be too bitter a pill for me to swallow. I mean, my conscience will know no peace. Deny to me that you never knew that this was going to happen. Deny to me that you are not enjoying this, son. That you never started this to spite me on the face. Daddy, the man standing before you is a devastated man. Or a fulfilled man. Daddy, you are not in this all alone. This could ruin my career as a medical doctor. My enemies have already started singing praises to God. My cabinet members are all against me. My phone has not stopped ringing since this news broke. I had to switch it off. Doria, I am sorry. Honestly. Please calm down. May remove me from the throne. You are not only going to be sorry, you are going to suffer the consequence. Uh, Daddy, can we do some damage control here? How? Um, I... I don't know, I don't... I can't really say. Then what am I going to tell the Akamoye Kingdom? That their king, his royal majesty, indulges himself into the pious act. His majesty. What am I hearing? His majesty. I can't believe this. But it seems. You are aware of what is happening and you never try to do anything about it.
God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is this all I mean, how do I survive this shame and trauma if this leads to the cancellation of my proposed marriage? Chica, for once, say something positive about this situation. Your planned marriage is ordained by God and nothing, nothing can change that. Not even the worst scandal in the world can change it. Believe me, after Mike, his father and I have been disgraced. All things that end well usually have difficult beginning. Don't you get? inside this place and not talking to anybody is not the best way. Daddy. Daddy, outside kingship is you and I. This family have a life and we must live it. We are not living our life for the public. Forget about what people are talking. How many of them will do what you did to save your only son from public shame? Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, I am coming into this place and if there's anything you want to do to me, do it. But I'm...
should proceed to the hospital. I'll join you later. Chica. Chica, my baby. Chine, don't worry. Just go with them. Before they finish preparing you in the labor room, I will join you, okay? Promise. I won't fail you. I love you. Please just take care of her, okay? Where is the nurse now? 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 Nurse! 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 Hey! Baby, it's okay, oh. It's okay. Doctor, the file is not there. Doctor Chica, meaning what? That's what I was told. <sighs> something can be done without this file now, Doctor. Exactly, Doctor. Do, do something, Doctor. You're the Doctor. It's, it's okay. On examination, I found that there are some drugs she was take before she delivers safely. Give it to her. I need to know her full medical history from the file before she take any drugs. In this condition. Any mistake or prescription could be dangerous.
I don't have his number on this phone. Mommy, do you have his number? I left my phone in the house. Oh, I thought you people said the lady is her twin sister. She is her twin sister. Please use your phone and call her. Hey! Doctor, is she picking? I don't have any choice than to go on with the delivery. Mm. Nurse, yes. call your colleagues and move back to the number one. Uh, what kind of life is this? Hey. My world is turning up. Keep calling her. Keep calling her. Keep calling her. Keep calling her. Let's get to, let's get to the let's go downstairs to the parlor. So we can call the police. Talking again. 
，几号？进来了，进来没？进，进，进，进！哎呀！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！
into your clothes. Chooks. Chooks. Chooks did what? Chooks fought me at the mortuary where I went to deposit my father's corpse. He accused me of being responsible for his wife's death. What? Oh. That was what she meant when you said you understood why my father walked out on you. But are these people so mindless they don't care how your own family tragedy has affected you too? So that you understand. It's very natural that the tempers fly. Not in the wrong direction as Tias is going now. Excuse me. you're talking about. After all, I caused his father's death just some few hours ago. It's been a tragic day for everybody, but that does not justify such insensitivity to his plight. Whatever, I don't care. All I am telling you now is that you should tell him to leave my house before I do something terrible. Before I do something terrible, I, we are money. My dear, we are mourning and I want only both of us to stay and mourn our dead. Well, Father, Mike is my husband to be. Automatically, that makes him part of this family right now. He is not part of my family. Tell him to leave. Tell him to leave. He's not part of my family. Father, Mike needs to be comforted also. He lost his father too. Don't you get it? You did not prepare the poison that killed the father, or did you? Neither did he ask me not to pick your calls when you were calling me. Father, are you aware that Chooks attacked Mike when he went to deposit his father's corpse at the mortuary today? Do you believe in the inevitability of death, Chooks? My wife's death was not inevitable. She was neglected. If you want to avenge your wife on the person responsible for her death, I am standing right before you, Chooks. Take the knife and stab me to death. I am responsible for her death. I neglected Chineye, not Mike. Avenge her death on me. Chika, you did not kill my wife. I did. <laughs> it was my carelessness that made me not to return her file back to the shop on the day I checked it. I neglected her when she needed me most. With your own ears, you heard her blaming me for her death. So please, take the knife and stab me and leave Mike alone. He's still mourning his father whose death I equally caused. What are you talking about? I still have a lot to tell you, Mr. Jukes. What? It was me who cheated in the examination. Mike, Mike only took the blame to save me. So 
He deserves better treatment from my family. Oh my God. But I didn't know all this. Chichika, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. I think I'll apologize to him next time we we'll see. Okay? I'm, come on. I'm really sorry, okay? I, did, I didn't know. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm really sorry, okay? <laughs> does not swallow another person, either in our family or in Mike's own. Thank you, my daughter. Have you eaten anything? Anything? Okay. Okay, let me go inside and get you something to eat. Okay? I know, I'll be back. But please, you have to eat something. Okay? Please. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is tearing apart. God, where are you? What kind of life is this? My world is Honey, I brought you food. I'm so, I'm so disfigured. Um, let me dish out the food in the kitchen on the back. No, um, I don't have the appetite. My love, we have to eat. If we must survive whatever has happened, we have to eat. I don't have appetite either. I brought this food for the two of us. Thank you. If your father was alive and knew the 
truth about everything that happened. Do you think he would have allowed us to get married? I believe in one thing. Love conquers everything. I shall mother to him. Still too early to tell. Let me get the food. Okay? Chica. This must be a very emotional situation. You know he was very close to Jimmy. Are you sure bringing Junior here tonight is a good idea? This will definitely not help his healing process. Taking care of Junior until he is old enough is my responsibility. Let's go inside. And please help me with the lamp. Thank you. 